Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing the long-awaited uh, 2000 Forerunner HID retrofit installation. Um, so please stick around uh, and check out the video and I'll see you there. All right, we're going to open the hood. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the corner light. Just screw here and just pop them off. These are being replaced. Because you can see that they're pretty shattered. Hey dear. Cups on the on the counter by the if you guys are in shot yeah Clip. 
This is gonna be a pain. Pull this. Pull tension on it. Definitely broken. Let's see if I get some of these. I don't know, it's broken.
doesn't look broken either. Or maybe I got lucky. They're supposed to do that. Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Oh, maybe if I did it right the first time, maybe I wouldn't have that issue. See, people learn from my mistakes. There's a little tab on the back. You just push this tab up and it unlocks it. So it actually leaves this in the, the mounts and the grill comes off. So it looks like that. And then you push this tang down while it's inside this slot right here. And it releases this and it leaves this in the actual mount right there. All right. Get me some zip ties. It should be under the, the orange cart. Okay. Just zip ties. I don't care what size they are. All right. So we're gonna have to zip tie some of this to the bottom grill so it doesn't keep straining the wires. I'm gonna need to move the grill down here so it's not in the way because it's fed into the grill. So
So the grill's just hanging at the bottom. If it snaps the wires on the lights, I'll just rewire the lights. It already snapped one. So. All right. so. There's one, two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna change the battery. We'll be right back. All right, so truck looks kind of bug-eyed without the grill installed so we're back I ended up taking a break I had to go grab a couple sockets because you know the infamous 10 millimeter socket decided to go missing for the deep dish so went and ran to Napa so There's a screw behind this silver panel. And there's also a little clip. You don't need to take the bolt out for this one. I think it's just holding this side quarter panel on. So 
So there's three on this side and there's two on this side. Oh dear. Three on this side. These two back here, one here, and then two on the side. And this one goes in the back, has a cam on it. Is it this one? Isn't that the one you just took out? Yeah, I don't need to take this one out. I just explained that. No, I meant from back there. No, oh, it's not. One here, one here, and then there's one in the back. And this one that holds the front shield on is just a screw. Two on the inside where the the running lights, the corner lights are, and they're just two nuts. Bolts stay with the truck.
thing it's bolted on. Yeah. It's not even the same color either. Must have been the original. Headlights are removed. Yeah. I'm down here and it's open you can see the igniters for the fog lights for the HIDs and the ballast so, so at some point in time I'm gonna have to modify the brackets so I could push this box back because there isn't much room because this is an aftermarket volant box so all right we'll be back